Hello everyone and welcome to the Distinct Mastering YouTube channel. My name is Freddie. Today I'm going to be showing you a very cool trick on how you can create stems right within your Ableton session or any DAW for that matter with Serato Sample. Let's get right in to the video. Okay, just a little backstory before we get into the session. I've been making a lot of remixes under my alias Freshco Bar, obviously over the years. And I have a ton of remixes and free downloads available on my SoundCloud. I'll leave you a link down in the description. Make sure you check that out. And if you're curious to listen to more, we have our record label NOS recordings. Links down below as well. Tons of releases on that that I'm doing. And I think you guys will enjoy it. We have a lot going on from live streams on our YouTube to my friend Lavelle curating the NOS radio show, which is free monthly mixes for you. So be sure to check that out. Now, getting back into the video, I just released this Jaw Rule remix under the Fresh Go Bar alias that I've been playing out for the last few months live. And I had the idea for this remix back when I was playing in Cancun in April. I heard my friend play it, and I thought to flip it. And I've done videos on stemming acapellas and creating acapellas. I'll leave you links to those down below as well. But there's a new method that I'm using that I thoroughly enjoy because not only can I get the acapella, but I can get stems and right within my DAW. So let me show you how this works with Serato Sample. Okay, here's the Jaw Rule session. This is the session that uh, you hear when you download the track. Make sure you go get that on my SoundCloud. And I'm not gonna play the whole track, but I'm gonna show you right here is Serato Sample. And you can see the Living It Up remix. And typically what I like to do, let's go ahead and solo this. Uh, you'll see I have a MIDI clip here that just runs the whole length of the song at middle C. And I have the song up here as a reference, the original song. So if I solo this and hit play, you're going to hear the song start from where this marker that I've set begins. Oh, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Notice that it's highly sped up. It's at 125 BPMs, the speed of my song. Now, just to give you a little backstory on Serato, I used to have their Pitch and Time plugin back in the mid-2000s when I was using Pro Tools and an MPC to make beats. And their engine is, I think, and a lot of people think, one of the best pitching tools, if not the best pitching tool out there. And the whole DJ software came from this original Pitch and Time plugin. So Serato Sample is using that same algorithm. And you can pitch the keys up or down directly in here. And just to know, I like to set the marker right at the first downbeat because it just lines up with the, with the whole session. I have a little extra space here, but if I delete that, it just lines up with everything. It's perfect. And getting back to it, you could change the key. Oh, yeah. come on, come on, come on. You know, right in here. It's crazy. Simply put, to set up the stems, all you have to do is click these little squares right here. And you will get the vocals, the instruments, the bass, or the drums. And what I like to do is I like to basically name one of them like the original. And then I'll duplicate that. And then I'll open up this Serato sample. And I will create the acapella. And then I'll name it that. And I'll just keep going down. See, there it is right there. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Huh? And I'll just keep going down the list. You know, here, let's do this next one. This one is going to be the instruments. And I'm just making out the stems. Pretty crazy, right? The next one here is the bass. Now, I didn't just take this bass for face value. I did layer it up in this remix, and I just took these pieces. You're probably, if you didn't know this, you're probably freaking out right now. And I'm going to show you the next, what you can do next. Drums, if you want them. So now that I have all four of these stems, what I like to do then, I'll leave one of them for a, you know, save in case I need to go back. I'll leave it just there, and I'll usually color that one white. And then from there, what I'll do is... Now, one thing to note when you do do that, if you move the session around in different folders, I basically move my sessions in stages. 
it will lose the connection to the file. I always save. Let me show you what I mean real quick. You could see here that I have a bunch of stages and I talked about this in a prior video. I'll drop you a link down below and I move sessions around from stage to stage and I'm, I'm obviously working on tons of music. So here's this session. And as you see, I always make an assets folder and I drop it in here. If I move this session into one of the other stages, uh, it loses, Serato Sample loses the connection, but by having it saved like this, you always have it in your session. So it's it's handy. And that's what I do. Uh, you don't have to work that way, but I always like to preserve things within the sessions. Now, what I like to do then is I'll just right click on these and freeze and flatten. And you're gonna basically get all of the audio flattened out right in time with your Ableton session where you can just freely chop and edit the audio and we all know that editing audio can be much easier than working with MIDI and you can see it all just populating here and boom it's all on grid just like I said it's so easy to do I have the drums let's play this the bass the instruments and the vocals thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please share it with your friends it does help me out to share these videos please like them comment below i'd love to hear if you knew about this how you're using this just would like to hear more from you guys i'm going to be doing some new cool things for 2025 please if you're not a subscriber and you did find this video useful please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell so the new videos you will be notified and if you do have any suggestions, please drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. New big things for 2025 coming out, both on NOS Recordings and the Distinct Mastering YouTube channel. And for myself as Freshko Bar, I'm gonna be doing some behind the scenes stuff. Stay tuned for all of that. And until the next video, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.